So today we're going to be making hummus for an appetizer to go with our cheese tray. And we're going to serve that with some carb-free flat-out crackers. I um, picked up some flatbread at the market and seasoned it with rosemary, salt and pepper, black pepper, and toasted it with olive oil in the oven. Cut it up and made it into crackers. So it's a nice, healthy appetizer. So we're going to start with the hummus. And I have four cans of chickpeas. I'm going to pour into my handy-dandy Cuisinart. And I have tahini. It's going to be about half a cup of tahini. I'm eyeing it, but you can measure. It's a little more than half of a cup, probably about three-fourths of a cup of tahini. That's sesame paste, and that's just going to lend a nice flavor to that. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to saute just a little bit of garlic and some shallots. I just like to soften the flavor of the garlic so it's not as intense in the hummus. So heat that up a little bit. And I'm going to take, oh, about four tablespoons of garlic here. Let that sit for a minute. And I chopped up one shallot, and I'll use about half of that. So let that sizzle a little bit, heat up. I've got some roasted red peppers. It's just a jar of roasted red peppers you can find at the grocery store. And I have salt. This is a few tablespoons of salt. You can always taste it and see if you want to add more. And I have cracked pepper. I always like to use fresh cracked salt and pepper and something like this because it's raw and you can get the nice flavor. I used the Himalayan pink salt today. So come over here, check my garlic. It's just about right. I just want to toast it a little bit. And once I smell the garlic cooking, that's when I'm going to go ahead and bring it over and put it into my mixture here. As you can see, this is all coming together very fast. It doesn't take a lot of time, but it's going to feed many and be very tasty. So I'm going to get my lid here. And oh, I almost forgot one key ingredient, the lemon juice. So my handy dandy lemon squeezer here. It's just going to bring out the flavors of the tahini and the garlic and just really be a nice citrusy flavor and just add to the freshness. So I have one lemon, one whole lemon that I squeezed in there. Make sure I get all the good juices out of there. So I'm going to pop my lid on and I pause. As you can see, it's very quick. I'm just going to hold it down for a minute. And I like to pulse just to make sure that I get everything mixed in properly. I chopped up from my garden sage, rosemary, an oregano, and some sweet basil. So that's just going to add a nice fresh flavor. So put that in. I like to add fresh herbs to almost anything I'm cooking. It just lends a nice flavor to anything that I'm making. So I'm going to come over here and grab a spoon. So I can taste make sure it's the perfect flavor. It's good texture. I like to sort of stir around, make sure that all the beans are mashed up and ground up. Mm. It's 
fantastic. That took about five minutes. So I'll just dump it into my pretty bowl here. And as you can see here, you have lots of leftovers. So you could use this tonight for a party, but use it again tomorrow to dip some chips in, use it as a sandwich spread. And it really does make a great snack that lasts hummus keeps for about a week or maybe a week and a half in the refrigerator. So make sure I get all the good out of there. Don't be afraid to get a little bit messy. You can always lick your fingers in your own kitchen. So there we have beautiful hummus. Appetizer. I'm going to take a little sprig of basil, put it in the center, and it makes for a beautiful appetizer. And it costs about, oh, ten dollars to make. So it's a great appetizer. It lasts a long time, and you can really flavor hummus with anything. <laughs> okay, I think that's